Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Ooh! Uh, so for today's video, I am actually not quite sure what we are going to be doing yet. Um, I have all my makeup sitting right here. I'm hoping something will pop out at me, inspire me. Honestly, now that I realize that my last one was coral, now I'm just kind of leaning to literally just doing rainbow. Like, red, orange, yellow, no, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. Okay, I think we figured it out. <laughs> Rainbow it is. <laughs> that pink is super pretty, though, so I really want to work with that at some point, just maybe not today, which makes me sad, but whatever, we'll get through it. Okay, also, you guys, um, Ariana Grande's new song, Seven Rings. Y'all haven't listened to that shit? I would literally get right on it killer song like she killed it with that song and we are going to start with an eye primer so today we're going to start with the NYX if I can grab it Jesus Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna start with the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade 604 Milk. Um, I love this. This was like really big back in the day. Not back in the day, I shouldn't say that, I'm not that old yet. But like back when I was like 13 and me and my friend Cassidy were doing videos, this was like the popular thing I remember. This and there was one called Strawberry Yogurt, I'm pretty sure that was like a light pink that everyone liked too. So I still love these, I think they're I only use the white ones. I did have a green one for a long time because um, the all-star cheer team I was on was like a, um, a forest green color and they had a forest green NYX jumbo eye pencil and so I used that for my cheer makeup and it was really amazing. But this one I love to have for when I do color because I feel like the white base just makes the color stand out even more than it would if I just put on concealer. That should be good. <laughs> it looks so crazy in the viewfinder right now, honestly. Okay, so next we're gonna take some of the Beauty Counter Mattifying Translucent Powder. You can use that. You can purchase this at my link in the description. I am literally so close out, it is ridiculous. So we're using the smallest bit possible. We're literally just using like what's in the lid already. We might have to dip into the actual container here in a second. All my brushes are dirty. Like I said in the last video, I still haven't gotten around to washing them. I might do a whole video on how to wash my brushes. They're literally disgusting. You can see the rainbowness in there. There's like pink, blue, purples, browns. It's ridiculous. So we are going to attempt to find a clean brush today <laughs> to start with. I think we're going to start with, um, with this one because this is just like a big fat round one. I think we're just going to use this as our all over transition shade and for that color. Um, this palette doesn't really have anything to offer me, so we're going to find another one. I think the Beauty Counter one has something. Yes, so we're going to use the shade Soft Peach from the Beauty Counter palette, and we're going to mix it with a little bit of eggshell, so just Soft Peach and a little bit of the eggshell color. And we're just going to use this as an all-over transition shade on our eyes. And I think as we're going to do this, I'm going to pull up some, like, get to know me questions. I don't know if that's weird, but I think I'm just going to pull up, like, a list of, like, get to know me questions and go through them so you guys can, like, get to know me. Okay, so now we're going to start with the colors. So I'm going to do my right eye. Um, I'm going to do red, orange, and yellow. And then this eye, I'm going to do green, blue, and purple. So we're going to start on this eye and do red, orange, and yellow. Okay, so we're going to use this. We're going to dip into the red shade in the Morphe 35B palette. So we're taking this color right here. So I'm just going to start with the red on my outer corner. This looks more like pink, honestly. That shade is red. Like, literally in the pan, it's red. When you put it on, it's more like pink. Let's see, do I have a red shade anywhere else? It might be a shimmer shade, but I'm totally okay with that. Gold. Okay, so I think we're going to mix it with the shade from a different palette. I think we're going to use the Alice in Wonderland palette. 
and use the shade Salazin Grum. It's a shimmery red. It's that one down there at the bottom. So I think we're going to mix that red with a little bit of the Salazin Grum one. And hopefully that will darken it up just a tiny bit and make it a little bit more red. Okay, so it's definitely helping it like a tiny bit. It's not helping too much, but it's definitely, it's definitely helping. Okay, so I just took that color all in my outer corner and I drug it in a little bit in my inner, like my crease area. And I just blended that out. So I think that's all we're going to do for the red. We might go back in later and darken up the crease. I actually don't know though yet. Because um, I'm kind of digging how it looks just with the red. But to start with, we're going to take the orange from the Morphe 35B palettes. <coughs> Excuse me. And we're going to take a flat brush. I don't know how the shadow is going to apply with this brush, but we're going to pray. So we're taking the orange shade from this palette. It's that one right there at the top. I'm so excited. Orange is my favorite color. So this is going to be so much fun. And this eyeshadow, I will admit, is a little chalky. Okay. Oh, damn. Okay. That applies very well, actually. I was expecting it to not apply that well, and I was going to have to go in a few times with it to get the color payout I wanted. So now we're going to go in and find a yellow shade, so we're definitely using the one from the Morphe palette, of course, because I've been dying to work with this one. It's this one right here. So bright. So pigmented. I'm excited. I actually have not tried this one on my eyes yet, so I'm excited to see how this works out. And again, we're just going to take this, um, this is like a, it's like fluffy because the brushes aren't like stiff. Um, sorry, the bristles aren't like stiff, but I don't know how it's going to apply. Okay, we'll see. I'm hoping it'll apply nicely. Oh, okay, yeah, love it. Okay, so I pulled up some of them, like, get to know me questions, and I'm just going to read through those and answer them as we go along. I'm already dying at this look. This is going to be so good. So, um, the first question is, what is your favorite smell? And honestly, like, I don't really know. I know my favorite perfume is Victoria's Secret um, Pure Seduction. This is the one I use every day, either that or Victoria's Secret Bombshell. But I don't use the Bombshell perfume. The um, Uday perfume, or however you pronounce that fanciness, smells a lot different than the body mist. So I use the Bombshell body mist, but in general, I think my favorite smell overall is just like, like ocean, like, like beachy smells, like salty ocean beachy. Yes. This is the only clean one I could find because I don't want to mix any other colors with purple because purple I feel like would get the most effed up. That and green. Um, so this is a fluffy brush. It's just angled. I think there's like a little bit of honestly like a beige on here but I don't think that'll get too messed up and I'm just going to wipe this off on my towel really quick. I really need one of those um, shadow switcher things. I really need one of those. In the Morphe palette we are using I'm so excited because I've been dying because I've been looking at the color forever. We're going to use this shade right here, which on camera it looks a little bit more of like a cobalt blue, but in person it's neon purple. Like, neon purple. <laughs> okay, so the second question that gets to know me stuff is your favorite food. And my favorite food is definitely anything spicy. So like buffalo wings, um, anything, anything spicy, honestly. Like, I'm just a freak when it comes to spicy foods. I feel like I definitely need to find a different brush. I don't like the way this one is moving the product around. It's definitely not what I was going for. Yeah, we need a different brush. I feel like this brush, yes, I can control this brush more and like be really more in charge of where the product goes. And it's more pigmented with this brush. Because the other one's really just like a fluffy blending brush. Okay, so this shade is... Um, Gorgeous. <laughs> to say the very least, this is beautiful. This is definitely one of the more pigmented shades in this entire palette. This is incredibly gorgeous. I love this. 
Okay, so now we're going to go in with the blue color on the lid of this eye, and we're going to find a duplicate of the brush we used for the orange. I literally have the same brush, and this one's clean, actually, kind of. I think it already has blue on it. So we're going to use this, and we're going to take a blue color, which I'm super excited about. I don't know if I want to do more of a neon blue or like a darker vampy blue, because I have this one in the palette, which I'm super excited about. But I also have, hold on, and the Alice in Wonderland palette I have out, I have like this one right here which is definitely a little bit more darker and like vampy like I was attempting to say before my boyfriend so rudely interrupted is that I have two different shades of blue and I don't know which one I would like to do because one of them is more brighter and turquoise and one of them is more darker and vampy I think since the eyes are such a neon purple that we're going to do the turquoise one we're going to use the turquoise shade from the Morphe palettes on a flat brush It's definitely a very pigmented color, but I stand by what I said in the fact that I'm pretty sure this purple is the most pigmented color in this entire palette. So I think we're going to take this um, flat definer brush and we're going to go in with, um, there's a lot of greens in this palette as you can tell, but I'm pretty sure we're going to use this one right here. And I think um, after I'm done putting on all the base colors, I think I'm going to go back over them and put like a shimmery version of each color on the lid area of each color. If you, that makes sense, if you catch my drift. This brush isn't the greatest. I'm sorry, guys. Now we're going to go back and we're going to add shimmers over the lid colors and the inner corner colors. So we're going to add shimmers on top of the blue, the green, and the orange, and the yellow. I'm going to dip into the Alice in Wonderland um, Urban Decay palette, and I'm going to take the shade, I believe this is called Paradox. Yes. The shade Paradox right there. It is just a beautiful shimmery orange. I don't we're going to go with our finger now and try this. Oh yes, definitely. Definitely better with our finger. Just give it a little bit of shine. And then we're going to find a shimmery yellow. There is one in this palette. The Morphe palette that we've been using this whole last time. But it looks a little bit more golden in person. We're going to go in with it and just see how it looks. So I'm going to take that on my pinky finger. It's a very smooth color, like that feels like butter on my finger. And we're just going to go in and tap, oh that's pretty, and tap the whole inner corner with that. Yeah, that's pretty. Okay, and I'm just going to be mixing those two shades together. Honestly, so I was an all-star cheerleader for 12 years. And my cheer gym, we had like kind of like a rival gym, and their colors were orange and yellow. So every time I see those colors next to each other, I just kind of can't stand it. Even though like honestly, orange and yellow apart, favorite two colors ever, but together they just put a bad taste in my mouth. <laughs> we're going to be taking this shimmery blue right here, and then for the green, we're going to be taking this shimmery green right here. This shimmery blue also feels like putter. I just wiped a little bit off on the top because I don't want to go in too heavy with it at first. Okay, maybe I wiped off a little bit too much. <laughs> now we're going to go in with the green shade and we're going to take that on our pinky finger. And we're going to put this all over the inner corner. And we're just going to be blending those two shades together. Okay, so I'm back. I finished the orange eye with the eyeliner and I really think a wing would look so much prettier on this but I just don't think I want to <coughs> risk it so I'm back finished the liner I put whites in my waterline which I think is just gonna really help open up my eyes and I grabbed a snack I'm eating um really spicy ground turkey okay so I think that's where we were at for the eyes we are um, going to put on some lashes, and we'll be right back. So I just popped on some fake lashes, and now we are going to uh, start on the face. So I don't use a primer or anything. I'm not really into primers like everyone else is. So um, I do have moisturizer on my face, and we're just going to stick and starch with um, some foundation. 
and that is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi. And this is definitely, I feel like this is definitely, yeah. Yeah. I feel like it's just, I feel like this is just a hint too dark. So we're going to stick with this one, and we're going to pump this, ooh, okay, we're going to pump this on the back of our hands. And we are also going to mix in some facial oil to make it even more dewy. So I'm using my Beauty Counter um, facial oil in number three. Just putting two drops on that. I love the Beauty Counter facial oils, you guys. Honestly, I swear by them. They're incredible. So, mixing that in. Putting this all over my face. Um, I have never mixed an oil into a foundation but I see people do it all the time so I thought I would give it a go today so I'm taking a damp beauty sponge this is like the beauty um not the beauty blender this is the real techniques brand but this is like their body their face and body beauty blender and I love this because of how bad it is it's incredible mm, not only does that make my skin feel better putting the oil in there but <laughs> my foundation smells really good <laughs> Um, what is the next question? Let's see, next question. Did you go to college? Um, no, not really. Um, so I graduated high school and I took a year off and I worked a ton. And then I decided I wanted to try to go to college and so I just signed up to do my prerequisites, math, reading, and writing. And I signed up to do online classes because I was very busy at work. I was an assistant manager at the time and then I got, promotion to, I got promoted to manager. Um, so I was very busy so I just did online classes but didn't really work out for me for me honestly I did online school for junior and senior year of high school and it was so much better for me I was not a school person never have been I don't think I ever will be to be honest um, but the online classes in high school were definitely a lot simpler to understand um, than the online classes in college um, so yeah, I took three classes and to be honest, I failed all three of them. I'm on academic probation now and I don't believe I'll be going back. So that is that answer. I honestly, I don't know how I feel about this concealer. This is the new Maybelline, it's not new, but it's new to me. This is the Maybelline Better Skin Concealer. I don't know how I feel about it. Next question is, do you like roller coasters? Hell yes. I flipping love roller coasters. Me and my dad are both just adrenaline junkies, and roller coasters are just like the best thing in the world. I love roller coasters so much. Love them. I'm like an enthusiast. Um, the next question is how many tattoos do you have? And I have one, two, three, four, five. I have five tattoos. I have um, I have a shark on my left arm right here because sharks are my favorite animal. On my right arm. I have this arrow tattoo that I got with my best friend. Um, we were best friends at the time. I We had a falling out, but we're getting closer together. And then also on this arm, this is going to be hard. But I have a tattoo that is just wings and a cursive J in memory of my cousin Justin. And then on my rib cage, don't ever get a rib tattoo, you guys. It was the worst decision ever. I mean, it wasn't a worst decision ever, but holy crap, that shit is painful. Um, on my ribs... I have the number, like, like the time, like 2.30 on it. Um, as I've said previously, I was an all-star cheerleader for um, almost 12 years. And if you guys are in all-star cheer, you will know the significance behind 2.30. So I got that um, while I was at my very last competition in San Diego, California. And then on my back was my first tattoo on my shoulder blade. I have um, just a, like an ocean wave because I do love the ocean. And I got that when I was 17 in Georgia because the age for tattoos in Georgia is 17. So that was my very first tattoo. That one didn't hurt. I really don't think tattoos hurt that much. The only one that I was really like shocked by how much it hurt was definitely my ribcage. Everything else was just kind of like, Ugh. you know, I'm not, I have a very high pain tolerance. So if something hurts me, it it hurts. Okay, so now I'm taking my Beauty Counter Ratifying Powder, and I'm using my Beauty Blender, and I'm just grabbing a little bit of that, just like that, and I'm just going to try to tap it. I don't really know how you can tap off Beauty Blenders, and I'm setting my under eye with that. So the next question is, are you afraid of the dark? Absolutely. <laughs> And I am not ashamed of that. 
I am 100% afraid of the dark. I am afraid of when my closet door is open like an inch. I cannot stand that. It drives me crazy and my boyfriend always forgets to close the closet door and I freak out. I just, I don't know. I just don't like it. It just makes me feel like something's going to pop its head out of the closet. Like I've seen monsters ink way too many times. Ooh, that's a good one. Um, question is, do you believe in ghosts? And I'm going to say absolutely. Um, I saw a ghost when I was nine. I want to say I was nine. I was eight or nine, one of the two. And um, I, in my old house, my bed was like facing my closet. And like I just said, I'm afraid of when closets are open. My closet had no doors on it. So <laughs> that was even better. It was just like a big closet all the way to the ceiling. It had no doors on it. Um, but I woke up, I remember so vividly, I woke up one night and my bed was like facing um not like facing but i had a futon so like when i would sleep i would sleep on my side and i would be facing the wall with a closet on it and i woke up one night and there was a man standing in front of my closet i'm getting scared talking about this but there was a man standing in front of my closet with his hands on his hips and he was wearing a red baseball cap and like a blue just t-shirt and he was just standing with his hands on his hips kind of swaying back and forth creepy i'm scared now we're not going to talk about that anymore but i definitely believe in ghosts I definitely believe in angels, spirits. My aunt died when my mom was pregnant with me. Um, she was killed by a drunk driver. But ever since then, um, so this is a very long story. So I'm just going to like give you the cliff notes version. So basically after my aunt died, my other aunt went to a psychic or someone like that, like a medium. And um, she said... Um, something significant in your life is going to happen that has to do with a three and an eight. I don't know if those were her actual words, but she basically just said like something's going to happen in your ha life that has to do with a three and an eight. And that was probably nearly 19, 20 years ago because I'm 19. And literally ever since then, everything, everything, good or bad, has to do with a three and an eight. Like I swear, my house burnt down when I was seven and my house burned down on um august 13th so 8 13. that was like i think that was the first one that they noticed um there's just so many my aunt had to have brain surgery a few years ago not, not way more than a few years ago i'm sorry but she had to fly to pennsylvania to get her brain surgery or whatever because that was like the where the brain surgeon was and her flight number was like flight 833 so that was weird there's been some bad things too. I mean, well, my house burning down was definitely a bad thing, but there's definitely been some good and some bad, but I swear to God, every time something significant really happens, there's always a three and an eight. We just, we always know that that's my Aunt Dorinda, like, watching over us. Like, if it's a good thing, that like, we just know that that's my Aunt Dorinda that made that happen, and if it's a bad thing, we know that, you know, Aunt Dorinda is going to be there, and she's going to help us get through it. So, definitely believe in spirits and angels and ghosts and all that jazz okay moving on i'm going to do some blush oh sorry i just used the beautify the beautifying the beauty counter um bronzer and moving on i'm going to use some blush i definitely want to keep my blush kind of uh toned down today to say the least so we're going to be using the tart tardiest blush palette and i think we're going to use the shade love which is this mauvey shade right here um, so one of the questions is, do you speak any different languages? I don't want to say I fluently speak any different languages, but I definitely, I, um, took, I took German in high school. I don't know if it's required everywhere, but at my school, um, you're required to take a language for two years. So I took German for two, almost three years. I took it for a few, um, days in my, um, junior year, but like I said, I did online school junior years. So I literally took like three days of German my junior year. That's a lot of blush. Um, so I do remember quite a lot of that, but I'm not going to say I speak it. Um, I do remember simple things like, Hallo, ich heiße Kelsey, ich bin neu zehn Jahre alt. Uh, that's pretty much it. I know how to say, order like a Coke. Like, ich möchte eine Cola bitte. I say danke and bitte all the time instead of saying thank you and please. Um, my boyfriend always says Gesundheit when I bleed, when I sneeze instead of saying bless you. So, I definitely know a little bit of German. That's for sure. I know a little bit of sign language. I was determined to teach myself sign language for quite a long time. And I still am. I would love to learn sign language, like full on learn it. But like I said, school's not for me. <laughs> so I know how to say like, hi, my name is K-E, 
K, right? E L S E Y. Okay, so we're gonna move on and do our highlight, but we're gonna find a different question. Um, does your name have a special meaning? My first name does not have any any type of special meaning to it, but my middle name is Ran, Kelsey Ran, obviously. And hold on. <clears throat> Okay, so my middle name is Rayanne, and my middle name came, so I was, my mom was pregnant with me when my aunt Dorinda died, like I just said, and my middle name came from Dorinda, so my, she wasn't technically our aunt, but we call her our aunt. She was my other aunt's best, like, best, best friend. <sighs> um, so my aunt Connie, who was best friends with Dorinda, which is why we consider her like an aunt, Connie's middle name is Anne, so it was Connie Anne. And Dorinda's middle name was Ray. So when they were pregnant with me, hold on, I'm gonna switch brushes. When they were pregnant with me, I guess they just they needed a middle name. And it was right after Dorinda had died. So they just decided to combine Connie and Dorinda's middle names together. And they got Ryan. And I honestly love that name so much. I will definitely be using it for my kids someday. I want that name to continue on into our family. Okay, so I just realized how much of an idiot I am because like my camera automatically stops recording after 11 minutes of recording So I set a timer on my phone for every 10 minutes and I stop and start again And I just realized that I started it again Well, I'm Lynn like I started talking again and like answering questions and I never Started the camera again. So here we are. We're doing our brows <laughs> um, I had just said my favorite color is one. My favorite number is three and then we we're in back into more questions Hold on um, my dream car, probably a Mercedes G-Wagon. I know that is typical, but whatever. Longest relationship so far, um, my current one. I'm very happy. So in love with this guy. He's incredible. When's your birthday? My birthday is March 25th. Exciting. Ooh, favorite sandwich. That's fun. Okay, so I love Subway. And my Subway order is either foot long or six inches. Depends on how hungry I am. Um, so foot long Italian herbs and cheese. And I get the oven roasted chicken on my sandwich with pepper jack cheese. And I get it melted. And then I get um, lettuce, spinach, onions, um, a lot of banana peppers. And then I get Chipotle Southwest and like a shit ton of the creamy sriracha sauce. That's my favorite stuff ever. So that is my favorite sandwich. I also just recently tried Firehouse Subs for the first time. So good, y'all. So good. And from there, I just like turkey and cheese and mustard and banana peppers. Okay, so my brows are done. They're definitely uneven. My lighting is getting worse. Fuck. Okay, well, we will be back in a minute. All right, so now that we're done with our eyebrows, we're going to go in and work on our lower lash lane. Okay, so, so to start with, I'm gonna start with the red. And I'm gonna use the same fluffy brush. It's gonna be a little bit difficult because of how big this brush is, and I'm going in on my lower lash line, but we're gonna get through it. Okay, we're gonna use the same shades we used the first time. Alright, and the next question is um, when you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? And I definitely, like, of course, like every other girl my age wanted to be Hannah Montana. That was my life aspiration. Um, but, like, on a real note, I actually really did want to be on Broadway. Um, I wanted to be a Broadway actress. I even did like a Disney Channel audition when I was like 12 or 13. So yeah, that was my definite dream when I was a little girl was to be on Broadway. <laughs> okay, we're going to go in with the orange color now. And finally, our yellow shade. And we're just going to connect this to the bottom. So not really doing much, just connecting it all the way around. Okay, so my camera is going to die. It's flashing at me. So I just hopped off camera really quick and finished my lower lash line. I just mimicked what I did on the top, on the bottom. So red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple. And to top this all off, I'm going to be using a matte nude lipstick. Alrighty. 
Alright, so that is it for today's look. I hope you guys enjoyed. I had so much fun making this look and you guys getting to know me a little bit. This was a lot of fun. I apologize for my hair looks like crap right now, but I have got to go, you guys. My camera is gonna die. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I love you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!